All right, so I don't know, what was it? Six months ago or so, I put new brake, brand new brake calipers on, new rotors, shocks, did, did the whole method. And I was coming home from firefighting uh, and the whole front end just locked up. Um, wouldn't go and, and so it looks like it broke, something in the brake caliper broke right here, which is the second one I've had happen on this truck. Here come the Dodge haters. <laughs> Actually, the truth be known that Dodge guys who know anything, if, they, if they're tired of going through all the bearings and all, the Dana axles are the, are the same, so they'll take four knuckles and brakes and bearings all out uh, and replace them. So it's not, this is not a Ford thing, it's just a, a, a poor Napa part thing, if, I, if I'm guessing right. So we took it for a test drive, I guess I should show here, and you could see this should spin freely. And it was really hot when we came in and put my glove on it and it sizzled. And now it's cooling down with this breaker bar, I can just barely turn it. But when it first came in, we couldn't turn it at all. Yeah, and you can hear it. Yeah, it's really dragging. So something in there is not releasing. So we're gonna pull this brake caliper off here. And I never keep receipts for anything, so I'm gonna tell them that it's under warranty, they're gonna laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> is that how it goes? Do you keep receipts? Uh, well, I, I run a small business, so yeah, I have to keep receipts for everything. So you're good at that? <laughs> like, and someone else also runs a small business that should be keeping all the receipts? You know what receipts? I can do is I can ask Mrs. W. There you go. And she'll pull up the credit card statement. Yes, she will. That is exactly right. Okay. Let me get that right there. Yeah, the more I think about it, it's, it's, it's so, the, I guess that critical element is, the, the, I really believe that the content makes no difference. Because mm -hmm. I watch... I've subscribed to creators that have content that I have, have the least interest in. I would never do it, mm -hmm. but I like them. I like their pat, their enthusiasm, and so yeah, that's just that's just welded on there, isn't oh, it? No kidding. I was actually not expecting that. Yeah, that is okay. So let me break the caliper off here and the brake line. So the caliper's got your shoes seized against the rotor is that right that's right okay so what you're going to do now is you're going to try to get them to unsqueeze de-squeeze well what i'm going to do let's we'll just take break this brake line off of here and take the pressure yeah off. there's an eight there's two lines there's a brake line and the abs line and so we know it's not the um master cylinder because yep. if it was the master cylinder both of them would be locked up okay so there's something going on with this side. So we want to take this thing off here. We'll have to re-bleed the brakes too, which is not a big deal. Yeah. I can even show you how to do it by yourself if you have to. Which is always a challenge. It, yeah, it is. It's the old broomstick type of... Yeah. Okay, so this is going to come off in one big heavy piece. Heavy, hot piece. Heavy, yeah it is. It's just on fire. It's so hot. There's a good chance that I probably smoked my rotors. Or my rotor. Okay, it's not gonna come off. It won't clear the bearing. Hmm. So we're gonna have to get medieval on it. <laughs> Uh-oh. I, I sense persuasion about to happen. <laughs> Red handle persuaders. Red handle persuaders. This is kind of serious. This is more serious. And then there's the real serious one right there. <laughs> we have three degrees of seriousness here. Yeah. So this should just come off it. Oh, that's hot. Still that hot. Yeah, look at that. Oh, you know, you're not actually working until somebody's either busted a tooth, on fire, or bleeding. Yeah, this will come off here. But it is seized good. Yeah, it is. Oh, it smells like burnt brakes, isn't it? That's the best smell in the world. <laughs> Oh, I, that is such a good smell. I prefer clutch. <laughs> is that you? Clutch is a good odor. Clutch, it ranks right up there with porta potty and Yep, a wet clutch. No. Okay, so let's uh, let's take this up on the bench and do a little bit of forensic testing on this. This is a brand new caliper. Oh, they're nicely glazed. Okay, so you should be able to. So what we have in here right there, we got two two pistons, right? Two pistons. If we look at that, look down from the top there, Alan, you can see, see that one sticking out? This one's sticking out further than this one. Yep. I'm wondering uh, if this one isn't stuck out. It's, it's supposed to retract in there Correct. like this one has. Yep. 
And because there's no line on there, you should be able to take two pry bars like this and, compress and you should back. be able to compress these. There you go. Ooh. See right there? So yep. It should be smooth and fluid. The fact that it jerked like that would tell me that it's something's wrong with the bore and it's broken. Yep. And it's not wanting to... If we go in the middle, we can kind of compress, should be able to compress both of them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's had it. Try one more time here. So Cody, when you get these from an auto parts store, are you always getting completely new components and everything, or are these rebuilt? No, they're typically going to be rebuilt. And you can tell if they're going to ask for a core. What a core charge is, is they'll say, okay, the calipers are $100, uh, and then there's a $25 core charge. It means you'll get that $25 back when you bring them back. Yeah. So when you bring yours back, they send them to the factory, and then they rebuild them. And that's what we have here. So when you buy, when you do brakes, you can go two, one to two ways. You can either go, uh, unless you buy Ford parts. Mm -hmm. If you go Fomoco for factory Ford, then you're going to get a brand new part. Most people don't know this, but there's about five tiers of, of parts quality. Mm -hmm. So your really low end parts like, um, well, in this area, it's like shucks are going to be at the very bottom. They're the worst of the worst, but they're the less, least expensive. Where your Napa range, you're going to be somewhere in the middle. And then when you go to your dealership, you're going to have your premium parts. So, but you're going to pay for them too. You know, what's this going to be from Napa? You know, maybe $150 or so mm -hmm. from Ford is going to be like 375 or you never can tell, but typically it's going to be double. Hmm. So the, yeah, so you can either, when you do brakes, I don't always replace the whole calipers. Sometimes I just do the pads. It all depends on how many miles on them. I kind of think when you're right around 100,000 miles, I'll go ahead and replace the calipers. Mm. It's not that expensive. Um, my granddad used to rebuild these. We used to rebuild them. I remember doing that for cars, but I don't, I don't think most folks do that anymore. Certainly shops don't. All right, so I think we should probably go to Napa and get another one, huh? Yeah, we're going to have to. Stuck. And the beauty of Ford, what is this, an F-150, 250? Uh, it's a uh, 250 with 350 springs and axles. Oh. So it's, it's one ton. So it's a one ton pickup, and the nice thing is we can go to Napa on a Sunday, and they'll have it. Yeah. As opposed to my FJ Cruiser. Nothing exotic here. <laughs> Nothing exotic. Yeah. This, is, this is Ford country. They have all that stuff. Oh, I'm glad I'm not standing over there. <laughs> brake fluid. Is it that happy? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you want to ruin someone's paint job? Spray a little brake fluid on it. Yeah. It's. I, it, there's. I don't like to have greasy stuff on my hands, mm -hmm. but there's nothing worse than brake fluid. It, yeah. I don't know what it is about it, but it feels so caustic. Yep. So uh, I was just thinking here. I have. This is the one that I took off that I never got a chance to take in for a core. What's the chance that it's the right side? I'm thinking 50-50. It is not the right side. <laughs> of course it's. Not. <laughs> you see the bleeders. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, at least I can. We can take that back too. Yeah. They'll be happy to see both. All right. Let's go to Napa. Let's go to Napa. <laughs>